Chairman, good to see you today. Thank you very much for being here. Good to be with you. So, uh, you know, I, I want to start with this soundbite from, from Ted Cruz because it lines up with a lot of what we're hearing from other folks as well. Watch this. Mark my words, I believe Merrick Garland will indict Donald Trump. I don't think Merrick Garland will indict Trump over classified documents. Here's my prediction. He'll indict Trump over, quote, obstruction of justice for hiding the classified documents. Do you agree, Chairman Jordan, with Senator Cruz that that is what's coming? Well, it sure seems like, and if you can believe press reports, it looks like that is exactly what's coming. Um, and I find this, you know, completely unprecedented. We're, we're going to have a former president of the United States indicted by the special counsel, but not just the former president, the guy who's leading in every single poll in the 2024 presidential race. We think it's important. That's why we sent the letter. We think it's important to know what was the entire scope of his investigation? What was his charge? What was his mission? I'd like to see that document that the attorney general gave to Jack Smith when he launched this special uh, investigation, this special counsel investigation seven months ago. And that's why we've asked for it, because it looks like something completely unprecedented, never happened in our country's history, is about to happen. We think the country deserves to know. What, in fact, what was the charge? What exactly was the scope and the mission when this was first given to him back last November? So you're looking for, you know, to, to kind of determine whether or not it was just a big sort of blank check, so to speak, that, you know, you can look at anything or whether or not, because, you know, we've heard from the former attorney general, Bill Barr, that he thinks that they might have an obstruction case because of the back and forth between the former president and the investigation. What were the parameters outlined in the charge for, for Jack Smith to form the special counsel and to, and to look into the situation? What were the parameters, if any? Maybe there weren't. Maybe it's very broad. And there is precedent for us getting this information. Barad Rosenstein gave the scoping memo uh, regarding the Mueller investigation, gave that to Senator Graham when he chaired the Judiciary Committee in the Senate. We're asking for that information. Frankly, we're going to ask for it as well for, for Mr. Hur, who's looking into the Biden classified. We think that's appropriate for the, for the Congress in its proper oversight role, particularly the Judiciary committee to understand exactly what's going on here what is the scope what are the parameters what is the mission what is the charge more importantly we think the American people would like to know particularly when you're talking about the two guys running for president of the United States who are leading in the polls in both of their respective parties primary yeah I, I mean we've heard the FBI we, heard, we saw Jim Comey in a recent interview talk about why it's so important to not get involved with ongoing presidential elections and how you know, they tried to avoid that and, you know, went down that no, well, road, that's laughable. clearly. Well, that, well, that's laughable. He didn't avoid it. They used the dossier that they knew was false to spy on a presidential campaign. If that's avoiding getting involved in presidential politics, then that's a whole new definition for avoiding. How do you how do you wrap your arms around this? And I'm going to talk to Andy McCarthy about this, too. Uh, here's what the, the president posted, the former president. He's calling Marxist and fascists in the DOJ and FBI going after me at a level and speed never seen in our country. I did nothing wrong. He talked about Joe Biden keeping documents, Joe Biden having documents from when he was a senator, which we know they're not allowed to leave with. Um, what do you say to that? Is, the, is there disparate treatment here? Of course there is, and anyone with common sense can see it. They spied on his campaign in 2016. They gave us three years of the Mueller investigation, $30 million that found nothing. The day after the Mueller, Bob Mueller testifies in front of Congress, they start the impeachment. 51 former Intel officials sign a letter, all designed to suppress the Biden laptop story. They go raid his home 91 days before the 2022 midterms, and now they're going to indict him, not just in New York with Mr. Bragg, not just in Georgia with Fonnie Willis, but also with the special counsel. I think they've been after this guy and the country knows it's ridiculous. Jim Jordan, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Always good to see you, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You.